Blessings, blessings to you blessings. guys. God bless you all. Yes, God My bless wife you. had a dream and I want her to share it, baby. Yes, I sure did. I had a dream about Kanye West. But this is how it started, right? So I was on the I was riding on a horse with my father. And uh we was on our way to a restaurant. Um, so we entered into this huge city, and I don't know where this city was located. All I know it was in America. And I begin to see a lot of people. And one thing that I, what I was really focused on, on my right side of looking at this city was a huge church. And this church reminded me of the, um, you know how the Catholic churches, the the beautiful Catholic churches, the big mm -hmm. buildings, and mm -hmm. they had, they kind of, they, I would call them like the antique type of uh, churches. Well, that's how it looked on the outside, you know? And then I began to see this big old banner in the front of the uh, the church, and it had the word yay, because everybody is now calling Kanye West yay, because he changed his name. So that's what I seen. And I was like, wow, Kanye have a church? And then I began to see Kanye West picture on the side of the building somewhere, because it was a huge building, you know? And... um. I was like, wow, I, I would like to go in there to see what they're doing. Mm. You know, I wonder, is he coming there every day? I would like to see him, you know? And um, so I was very shocked about that. And then um, in the same dream, I began to uh, maneuver my eyes. I began to, uh, you know, get off of Kanye West Church. And then I began to look um, at the city around me again and um, all the people that I seen. Um, I seen one particular area where there was an escalator, but the escalator was going like towards downstairs, like a downstairs type of thing. And um, I began to see this man and um, he was, I could tell he was full with drugs or alcohol. I couldn't even tell, but he was full with drugs or alcohol and he laid down on the escalator and as he was going down, um, it seemed, you know how the escalator, if you lay on it, you probably can get in, trapped at the very end if you keep mm. riding on it. And his, I guess his clothes was getting trapped in, and I began to hear him scream and yell. And I didn't see anything that happened to him, but I felt like, wow, I, I think the escalator might have killed him because he was screaming, right? And I noticed that that was happening over and over, Um you know, two, um, two different type of men, you know? And I, I noticed that the cameras in the city was pinpointing to every guy that did that. You know, it's, it's strange. The camera, it had, it had TVs all over the city, what I'm saying. Mm -hmm, yeah. And then and when you want to watch the TVs around the city, you could see um, the same or a different type of guy doing the same thing mm. over and over and over. It's like they didn't learn their lesson, you know, yeah. uh, over someone else's mistake. So then um, after that was over, uh, me and my father uh, uh, rode the horse to a restaurant. And in, in the restaurant, as we were still on the horse, we was greeted and hosted by a real human. The person was a real human, but they were wearing animal clothes. And I didn't see their face, to be honest with you. I didn't see their face because it was covered in an um, animal mask. Their whole body was covered from head to toe in a uh, costume, animal costume. And uh, I think nowadays they call them furries. And, but the way they um, greeted me and my, my dad was they were on all fours, like a real animal. I was mad about how I was, we was greeted in a restaurant. And I began to complain. And the women, uh, it was a woman that was maybe a manager in this restaurant. And she began to tell me that if I can't respect her workers, then, you know, I should leave or something like that. And I screamed and I said, shut up. And when I said the word shut up, it felt like my words went throughout the restaurant in the city. It was loud. And she didn't say nothing else to me. 
And so me and my father rode to the table while we, we was, you know, meeting families and friends at this restaurant. And we went to the table and uh, we, you know, greeted them and all that. And the dream ended. <laughs> yes. And this is three parts in this dream. Three parts. So number one part is this, Kanye West, pictures in the church and all that. And this is exactly the calling that this young man had in his life. To be a minister of God, to be a preacher. But along the line, the enemy creeps in. The enemy took over. And hopefully, you know, right now, a lot of people are in, is he still living? Is he a clone and all that? Hopefully, he still come out, you know, come back and be his real, uh, in his real mind to be, uh, you know, become what God wants him to be. Hopefully, we all are praying. And as as this point, a lot of people are still exaggerating, you know, his whereabouts. So that's the first part of this dream, the calling that Kanye West has in his life. All right. Then the second part is this: when in that escalator, whatever is is called. So. Them going in and the TV showing, the camera showing them is a lot of these people in Illuminati, in this uh, Hollywood, a lot of them who they have been, like, been even in the past and the current, a lot of them are in the limelight and majority of them are being killed this way. A lot of them has died because of something that they want to expose, something that they know, or maybe they are tired of the way things are going. So they just put them as a punishment. And if you see in this dream, it was like somebody drunk. It was like somebody on drug. It was like, so they make sure that you are being painted that way so that they can drain you. They can do whatsoever that is pleasing unto them. So that people will not see it in a way that it was them. So that's the area that God is revealing. A lot of people know this. A lot of people don't know this. But God is pointing this area how they go down. Then the, the third part of this dream is what is coming. What is coming. They want you when you see those things coming. They don't want you to say anything. They want you to shut up. They want you to just go along with the lifestyle that is coming up, go along with the decision of the leaders of the country, you know, or the way that they want things to go. But I'm grateful to God that my wife was not able to hold, you know, hold or shut her mouth or anything, but she was able to speak up. We need more ministers, more people that are, going to be able to stand and challenge a lot of things that will come in the future because they are, this is just nothing. It's going to be more crazy stuff happening and they want everybody to keep quiet. Mm. When somebody will come up and say, you know, say, hey, this is who I am now. You know, what you see Yesterday wasn't me. Now this is my new me. So you see that they don't make no sense, but they want you to shut up. But I'm grateful that God is revealing all his plans for us to stay alert. The things that we know, we add on the ones that we know, we keep going. The things that we don't know, we ask God for more clarification and for God to open our eyes more to see some things. Because I was uh, having a conversation yesterday with uh, some mechanics. And it's so amazing to hear from some people that are, you know that they're not even going to church. You know, you hear them saying, man, there's a lot of things that has been exposed. There's a lot of things that the government are doing that people are not waking up. You know, you hear things like that from some people. You're like, okay, that, that, you, know, you, you know, you're not going crazy. You know exactly what you are saying because God is helping a lot of people now to see where this world is going. Mm. Yes, when when everybody called it conspiracy theory, now yeah. people are knowing that it's not a conspiracy 
theory. Yeah. It's 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 facts. Yeah. Um, but wow, you know, people are waking up. I do appreciate that. Yeah. And um, I want to go back to uh, um, again how um, well, a lot of these celebrities are revealing the truth. Yeah. And then they get what they start acting crazy on camera. Mm-hmm. They start acting like they have mental illness. Mm-hmm. And, you know, and then, you know, when I, I feel so bad because I read some comments of people attacking the celebrities like, why are they going crazy? <laughs> Ugh, you can't take them serious. And and they just don't know that they just getting attacked, yeah. you know, and because they want to reveal some some things in the the, the satanic uh, society just want them to look stupid so no one will believe yeah. what they're trying to expose. Yeah. Yeah. So I wish what we can do is just keep them up in prayer. Yeah. yeah. Keep these people up in prayer, you know. Um, another thing, uh, I had a dream where they're going to try to use um, some type of uh, fake comments, you know, fake comments that will attack People who are making a video, yeah, content creators, yeah, what they're gonna, they're planning to um, do these fake comments, attack comments to try, because comments brings distraction. Yeah, that's why if you are a Christian content creator or even a one that, that is exposing the enemy, you have to really pay attention to your comments because what those comments do uh, from the enemy, they come in, they, uh, they, they. Uh, they try to uh, what is called stray away yeah. uh, people's mindset yeah. against your video, yeah. and so you we're gonna see that more. And in the dream, I was unable to block them. Oh. I was very I was unable to block them. So you can tell that they're trying to they're gonna start bringing this morale. I remember it was a time um, where we was on social media and you see all these um, trolls. Yeah, we call them trolls, yeah. but I want to get more deeper into it. They they do these XOX XOX type uh, of yeah. uh, nude nude stuff nudity. Yeah. yeah, so the enemy I noticed that he was mm. doing it a lot on Periscope. And then he was doing he was doing a little bit on YouTube, but it's not as bad as it was on YouTube how it was on Periscope. Because Periscope, you would go live all the time and all you do is see these porno yeah. porno ads. Yeah. And you it was hard to uh block them Long because they, they it was thousands of them coming in. Yeah. So you're gonna see that they, I know that they're already kind of doing it, but you're gonna see that on you know on all social social media platforms, cause especially Facebook and YouTube, where mm. you're gonna see some crazy comments to try to distract your your uh, your viewers. Audience, yeah. yeah, and it's gonna be very hard um, to block them because they the government know what they're doing. Yeah, they but do. I just pray uh, that people be very very um, smart and alert when it comes to reading comments. Yeah, no what the enemy is trying to do. But yeah. yeah. So, you know, um, uh, another part of the dream I liked when it was coming to the part about the restaurant, mm-hmm. I like how we need to have a voice. Yeah. If it if it's not right, we need to stand up against it. Yeah. Okay? Because yeah, yeah. the way this world is going, yeah. you know, they really, they're trying to see how far they can take it. Yeah. And we need to continue saying. And what no. they're feeding us, what they're feeding us, only God will help us. Yes. You know, because this restaurant thing is just a lot going on, but God is going to help us. I know. I remember having a dream. We need to, everybody need to pray over your food. Yeah. And I know what many people are going to say. Well, fast food restaurant, you don't need to eat fast food anyways. Let me tell you something. It's in the stores. It's in yeah. the grocery stores, yeah. everybody. Yeah. It's in the little supermarkets. Please. Yeah. All of it. Play, pray over it. Yeah. Pray over it. Because mm-hmm. you don't know what the enemy is trying to do. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much for watching. We love you guys. Bye. Bye, y'all.